every second, around 50 stars in the universe explode. These explosions are known as supernovae and mark the end of a giant star's life. The inside of the star starts to collapse in on itself, starts to be squeezed into a very small dense object we call a neutron star, and then explodes. This can have lasting effects. Supernovae with stars more than 10 times the size of our sun are so massive they can leave behind black holes. But there's a second type of supernova involving old dense stars known as white dwarfs. And if it gets close to another star, it can use its gravity as a giant vacuum cleaner and suck off the atmosphere of the second star, kind of like a, a zombie eating it. And then if it eats too much, it explodes as what we call a thermonuclear supernova. So essentially a giant big bomb. In our Milky Way, a supernova may occur just once a century. So astronomers have turned their telescopes beyond to observe other galaxies like our own capturing thousands of supernovae this year alone. That's no mean feat. It can take only minutes for a shockwave to travel through the star, causing it to ignite and detonate. In 2017, astronomers used the Kepler Space Telescope to witness these early moments for the first time. Normally, from the ground, we can't monitor continuously because we have our day and night, we have bad weather. By having a telescope, though, in space that takes an image every few minutes, you're able to make sure that you're not going to miss these very crucial moments. That discovery could paint a more complete picture of what stars are made of and how they explode, bringing us closer to understanding the rise and fall of these celestial bodies. The Australian Academy of Science, because questions need answers.